just thinking a little bit about when I read um, Genshin Funakoshi's Karate Do My Way of Life online. Uh, that's a couple of things that I found to be pretty striking. One, I didn't know Funakoshi was married. So it seems like up until he got into his later years, he had the problem that I face is finding time to do your martial art when you're married and when you have to have a job. You need other money coming in. Another thing I think is interesting is that Funikoshi talks about Tsugumi. Tsugumi performed for Okinawa wrestling. And he felt like the wrestling helped his karate. So does that mean that Funikoshi, Genshin Funikoshi was a mixed martial artist? Some people would say so. Definitely shows the wisdom in training in multiple styles, or at least two. I always tell people to train in a grappling art and a striking art. Even if you pick favor one or the other, you should still train in a grappling art or a striking art. So I'm wondering, where in the world did this thing come from that you should only do one style forever and ever and ever? The styles that we study today are pretty much, all of them are combinations of other styles that came before them even if they end up landing in the grappling pile or the striking pile. Most of them, if not all, are combinations of a bunch of different schools of techniques that were lumped together by whoever studied it, decided to pass on to their students when they began teaching. So this whole thing about TMA and MMA and all this other stuff, when you really start reading about the founders of these different arts and if you also look at the champions if you look at mixed martial arts champions you found that they studied traditional arts and they just apply things from both in the mixed martial arts competitive format and when you look at the founders of these traditional martial arts you will find that they studied a bunch of different things so you could say that these MMA champions are actually TMA people and that these TMA founders are actually MMA people. So all this feuding and fussing and division that we do is ridiculous. It makes no sense. So, but I think right now, that the, honestly, the part that resonates the most with me about Genshifu Nikoshi is that uh, he had to work just like I got to work his karate and people call what I do karate even if it's I'm telling them I'm teaching judo oh that's the kind of karate where they wrestle yeah 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 fine whatever he had to uh, he had to find a way to make do and fit in his practice schedule around a regular job so you know what? I don't feel so bad about being a working warrior after all. Because if it was good enough for the founder of Shotokan, I guess it's good enough for me.